Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for a new film. This time is Lemonhead Mouth, and it this is a fan request. Everyone on Patreon, when I ask you guys what movie should I react to uh, next, everyone was Limited Mouth. I think this is the one that got the most both both votes out of all the films. And we are finally here, ready to watch it. I honestly thought, I think there is um, a, 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 a show or a series with a horse. It's a it's cartoon. And I, when you guys were writing Lemonade Mouth, I thought you were talking about that one. But I think it's completely different because in, on the thumbnail, I see actual people so I'm gonna guess it has nothing to do with a horse that I for some reason imagine what I don't know anyway so I'm here I'm finally here today has been boiling hot that's the degree that we have been here in Lima and I just couldn't like even with the AC and all of that I just couldn't react to anything because I was so so like the heat was so bad I hated it. But anyways, we're here to react to our first movie, which is Limited Mouth. Uh, this film is from 2011. Uh, and we're going to do it. We're going to watch it. We're going to have fun. I mean, it's one of the highly requested shows. It doesn't come sponsored by any anyone. It's just what most Patreons wanted. So here it is. Uh, Limited Mouth. One more film for our... Uh, list coming from the bucket of films where I choose a film or two every single weekend. Um, and honestly, I like the dynamic of, of choosing and like, you know, it just, it's a surprise every weekend, you know, so it's, it's pretty cool. So what do I expect from this? Well, nothing actually, because I have no idea what it is about. I mean, I see teenagers... Uh, there, so it's gonna be a teenager's movie, so that's it, that's all I can say, and I am, I mean, I really hope that it's a, a good m film, so, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy, I hope you guys like it, hope you guys continue to burn for more, because I will be reacting to more videos, uh, f uh, more, more films, the next film that I will react tomorrow is Rush Hour 2, so stay tuned for that. Uh, anyways, for now, I think that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys continue supporting for more. And without further ado, let's just begin with Lemonhead Mouth, our film, first film reaction for this weekend. Here we go. <laughs> what? Okay, that's a way... Oh, it's a band! Lemonade mouth right here. Detention, okay, the breakfast club. I need to go back to the beginning. I thought that was the, the beginning. Morning it all began. Okay. <laughs> Check out the new girl. <laughs> Shut up. Give Sydney a chance. For me. Why is everything about Sydney? Tommy scored the winning goal at state. Finals with that ball. Wait, what happened with the brother? Did the brother what, die? What are you crying for? Tommy's just away at college. Oh, okay. Oh, great. That lipstick you're wearing? No. Because you're too young for that sort of thing. Oh, come on. You scared me. Well, I've been looking all over for you. So, uh, the band and I... What, what is it going on? Oh, they're ditching school. <laughs> come on, come on. Please don't call my dad. He doesn't even want me alone. Detention. Mommy. Oh, you shut up. Wendell's mother. Okay, are, are you kidding me? Look at her. Right, are, are you stupid? <gasps> Jesus Christ, detention. Oh, 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 oh. Detention. Thank you. <laughs> I don't want to play soccer. I don't want your abuse. I certainly don't want my brother's ball. Oh, detention. Art club. 
So all the, all the rest of activities just have to be in the basement. That's just so bullshit. There Mel's lemonade. Where the stars align. And fates collide. <laughs> this was that moment. Ugh. The school stinks. Imagine that. <laughs> She's like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> yes! Ah. Are these original songs from them? They're not a band. We don't even know each other. <laughs> you were meant to play together! The, you were! <laughs> if you can be in sync in that way, and it's the first time you guys interact, you are meant to be together. A band. <laughs> yeah, I didn't make it How to the team. Well, um, they were great. <sighs> I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I don't want to be some random face in a yearbook. I want to be heard. Just one practice. If it works, great. If not, I'm out. Right. Okay. Lynn, I don't play whatever this is. I'm out, too. Oh, you, just because you want to score. Yes. Look, please, don't wait. Okay, so maybe they're not that rock. They're more pop, you know? Yeah. You guys are so winning. <laughs> I'm in the band. And you guys are not the only talented group in the school, you know? We're not bad. I mean, we met in detention. <laughs> We're just opening for you. Look, Mo, I mean, if you want to be in the band, it's important to me. You know that. Well, maybe my so music what? is important to yeah, you, exactly. too. Yeah, sure. exactly. Completely different styles, you know? I mean, they're good too! Alright, look, guys, I, I got one. Um, let, me, let me just. When? When? He's kidding, right? Come on, <laughs> this whole one name thing. You know, Bon Jovi. Mm. Or Cher. Yeah. Not the bash. No, this was on the door. Oh, damn. Good morning, father. There was gum. Underneath the seats in the gym. Oh my god, horrifying crimes. So, hey, uh, you're the lead singer of the new band, right? So, if you're not gonna make them, then who's gonna make them? Me. Oh, shut up. I, get, yeah, I, get I have a better up. idea. What? <laughs> oh! <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Break it up here. Break it up. They just start threatening oh, us. Oh my god. I need mouth over here. Spits. Is how we got our band name. Limited mouth. <laughs> Thanks to Stella. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> She's so weird. I love her. Wow. Oh. an old cat. Yeah. Do you have a friend named Sue? <laughs> she's my mom, and so she's just kind of like the last real thing I have left of her. So. I love well, her. Well, what about your dad? Um. Did they no, both die? They're way too close for my liking. <laughs> hey, come on, you guys. We're gonna be great. Lemonade. Oh, no. Schedule for removal. Like to to oh, yeah. <gasps> well, that machine should have been gone ages ago. You bring them up to Principal Brannigan yourself. Ask her to marry me. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Can you what tell you I've been working out? Seriously, I... Ah. Uh. Oh, uh, you know Jules, right? Oh, she knows you, oh, Jules. Wait, Mo. How are you feeling over there? I'm great, super. Ah, that's my girl. <laughs> that is. We, we believe in you, okay? Believe in you. Aww, that's sweet. She's like. I'm ready. 
Okay, yes! Hey, uh, nice costumes. Oh, you're not wearing any? <laughs> Shut up! Trying hard to fight this team. Yes! Yeah, white boy! <laughs> that was fucking epic! We're Lemonade Mouth, and um, now a few words from our lead guitarist, Stella Yamada. We'd like to talk about Lemonade. <laughs> oh man, but that was glorious! Principal Brennigan, you shut us down. Yes, I shut you down. Because the decisions I make are for the good of the school. Okay. No, they're for your own good. And with that good- <gasps> Life of the bat. Oh my god. It's you. <laughs> I thought I made myself clear. This lemonade business is over. Okay, hit it! Take it down! Look, guys, I... I gave Dante our CD, and... He loved it. <laughs> yeah, so we can start playing here. What? Mo, you okay? What? <laughs> Don't stop the revolution! Oh. Holy crap! Maybe we do matter. Yes, you do! Yes, you do! Of course we do. Before yes! We, knew it, we were playing at Dante's Pizzeria every Thursday night. Oh. Yes! Five strangers were suddenly much, much more. We were friends. You okay? Yeah, you came. We all oh, did! Man. We all did! I'm really sorry about Nancy. Sometimes I like to look up and see what shapes I can find. <laughs> you know, in the clouds. It's an alien pushing a baby carriage. <laughs> Dad's in prison. Okay, she wins. You know, he writes, but I don't write back. I don't know what to say. I mean, I didn't. Oh, after, okay. I still love him, but he. I thought he killed his her mom. I was like, what the fuck? Of course, she's gonna turn it into a song. Look at them, they're so precious. I loved it. Mm. Me, my music, we're a package deal now. Okay, I, and I know. I, I get that now, I do. And I'm sorry. It's gonna take a lot more than sorry to fix this. Just, come on, you've got to hear this! Your song. It's you! <laughs> yes! <laughs> You're in the radio! How are they in the radio? Who's in the radio? <laughs> I love that, something they can connect. Turn on WRIZ right now. Oh my god, that's old. Song on the radio, yes! Yes, they are! <laughs> the radio sponsor for Rising Star. What happened? <laughs> May I uh, introduce Loser Map? <laughs> 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 I love that they are more worried about eating. Yeah. Dante's not gonna let us play there anymore, that's for sure. No, oh, Dante will be a fool. For a long time, I wanted to tell you, just, you know, you were, you were with Scott, and and then we became friends. I like you, Mo. We're just friends, Charlie. Good friends, that's all. Fine. Why you get they upset? Heard? It's a stupid song. No, I'm it's not. Movie. No, Charlie, no. Ow! Ah! Ah! What the you fuck? To the right. Will you be my best man? You uh, what? Ah! Oh! You okay? Let me see. Are they all gonna get accidents? When? Wait, where are you going? Hey, we have to talk about tomorrow. What's to talk about? You know, oh maybe, my god. Maybe this is a sign. Now, this is about you not appreciating what you have. Look, everyone has their own okay, problems. Okay, no, fine. Go ahead. Give up. See if I care. I didn't even want to be in this band in the... Why did you do oh, it? for you, you jerk! Law of revelations are always intense. For you. Oh. We have an emergency. Oh, they're... Taking the limited... What happened? 
Did you all get hit by a bus or something? <laughs> He's talking. I am not moving until you put our lemonade machine back. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Look at Stella. Oh damn. Okay, and you're the only one to blame. What? Me? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much all your fault, Stella. They're really good. <laughs> oh, watch my eye. I know, oh. <laughs> when I said get out of the house, this <laughs> oh, Grum oh, is oh, like, yeah. I didn't told you to oh, follow your dad's God. footsteps. Sydney. Oh, dad, he's stuck in town at work. He's on his way. I just thought I'd come and. Aww. <sighs> That's good. Thanks for coming. I'm never gonna be this perfect Indian daughter you want me to be. Well, the it's version he wants you to be. A regular American teenager. Yeah, I'll I'll make mistakes, but I deserve for you to just let me be me. Okay, thank you, Bobo. But you're still in trouble. <laughs> well, I know. <laughs> oh, that's your brother. Tell me. My grades this semester not so hot. Oh damn. Too much for that whole perfect thing, huh? Oh, but you don't have to be perfect. Say we go tell mom and dad together. I love these heart-to-heart moments with the families. Yeah. I mean, look at what you've done. You started a band. A revolution. What you believed in. Could be any prouder of what I see. You want to come see our revolution? Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. I mean, that's a way to go, I guess. Not bad. Oh, no. Trust me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lemonade Mouth! Woohoohoohoohoo! Trying hard to fight the. Oh, my lord. Oh, damn. Trying hard to fight these tears. Oh, messing with my head, this fear. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, and I cry. Well, I guess, you know, I'll find another band. I know up and high and then inside. Terminate. Terminate. Win Rising Star. Oh, okay. I was like about to go on a rant. And just, okay, Olivia, thank you. But we want something bigger than that. An audience. Give me a chance. I'd really like to get to know this moment. She has a beautiful name. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hey, man. Why do they do this? It's Trey guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> oh, he's gonna love fame. <laughs> oh. That is the sweetest thing. Aww. Gangbusters, it's crazy. People just can't get enough of this stuff. Let me ask you something, Mel. Do you want to sponsor us? Risking it all to have your voice heard? More than happy to help us build a place where all our voices can be heard. All right, let's open up our music hall. One second, Why are we stopping? We are open. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, he's joining oh, into the fun. You are. Oh, <laughs> if you knew she'd actually make a very good principal one day. What? Well, I used to be a bit of a rebel myself back in the day. And that, Dad, <laughs> is how Lemonade Mouth came oh, to be. Oh, she was writing a letter. Just in person. Love, Olivia. That's amazing, Olivia. Never gonna believe where we're playing next week. On the. Madison Square Garden! I was gonna say the Rock of Thriller, but I don't know. Yes! Okay, guys, so that was the end of Lemonade Mouth. 
What an incredible, incredible film. Funny. With great music in it. Great chemistry between everyone in the band. It was actually about the band. You know, and... I really liked it. I really, really enjoyed it. I knew... You guys always do pick things that you guys know that I'm going to enjoy. And I for sure enjoy this one, you know. It, it starts out a little bit like, you know, Breakfast Club. They get into the tension. All of them are different, but they are united by one thing. Music. And the first time they start singing together... I mean, they don't know each other. Olivia has written this song. For some reason, they know the lyrics. The magic of, te- of, of filmmaking, I guess. Uh, but we're not going to put too much thought into that. But, you know, and they sound incredible. You know, Stella, uh, who's played by Haley, she just came in into this school a month after school has already started because her mom had to move. Mom and dad had to move. You know, and she has a complicated story with her family. All of them kind of do. Um, and the thing is that um, they're united by by this, by their talent, you know. And how much fun they had doing it, you know, when they sang that one song. How easy it was. The chemistry they had as artists to come together without egos or anything involved. And they are just a band you know they are that band and I think that what makes them shine over the other group you know whatever crush um they is is it that it's not that the other kids are not talented like I have said two things can be right at the same time that doesn't mean that they are not good It's just that they have different styles, different rhythms. Uh, Lemonade Mouth really likes to, or liked uh, to uh, bring the issues of the normal teenager, you know, and kind of, they're relatable, you know, they are relatable. They are the outcast, you know, people love a good outcast story, you know, and To be honest, all these kids, you know, them included, have been set aside by the school because they are not the ones bringing in the cash. Why? Because the soccer team has, you know, won a a championship, which is incredible, you know, incredible as well because sports, arts, everything, all of it matters. All the kids going through high school, all of them matter and they are different ways of expressing themselves. You cannot expect an entire school to just be about the one thing and everyone else has to just suck it, support it, and that's it. No. So Stella came in and she sees the status quo and she's like, fuck this. You know, why do they have to have all the gyms and the, 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 the money and we can and, and art school has nothing av club nothing math nothing nothing no one has anyone all the other clubs have been just put down as a shame into the basement you know and the only ones ruling the school are the kids who are bringing in the cash the sports you know the sports uh kids they are the sporty kids are, you know, um, there, you know, and honestly, this film talks to you really about how every single individual is good at something. They're not all of them good at, 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 at everything, or they're not all interesting in the same thing, you know, even within the group, you know, uh, one likes a keyboard, the other the drums, the other is good at bass, the other is good at this, the other is good at right. All of them are different, you know, and what their differences is what makes them unique, you know. And the teacher listens to them the first time and she's like, you guys are it. If I can prove to the teacher that you guys matter, that your voices matter as well, 
I can prove it and have it to be like that for the other kids as well that might not be, you know, the next big pop stars, but that still find some comfort in music, you know? And so she fights for it. I wish that we could have seen a more, you know, at the end, kind of like equality for all, right? All of them in their different clubs, given a certain amount of money and resources to found their cl their clubs. I think that will that should have been the ultimate goal. But to the school and to the principal, if you were successful, then you deserve his attention, you know? And that's not good. Um, I don't think he will be reelected, honestly. But anyways, that's not my business. But the thing is that he did everything in his mind to just destroyed this band and I love the fact that Stella was so convinced that they were good you know because they were um but it, she was the glue that hold them together you know in times where crazy it was happening when all of them were just wanted to quit for one reason or another she was like this is the one thing I have you know because in my family they're all overachievers you know mom is doing things to change the world my siblings though you know they're very young they are very much into the you know uh building things and they're very smart apparently you know and dad is about to cure cancer and she is not good at anything and actually she's great at this you know music all of it you know and it was beautiful wasn't it it was beautiful to to uh to see, to witness her greatness and, and how her passion, how she can transmit and, 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 you know, that passion. It was, without Estella, we wouldn't have a group, you know? Um, and they all came together and it was just so beautiful. So each of them have a story. That was Estella's story. That's what she needed to prove to her mom. And she did, ultimately, you know? Olivia, on the other hand, uh, has a bit of more dramatic, uh, 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 past which is that her mom died we don't know how why or when exactly but her mom died she had a cat that belongs to her mom and for her that was the last remaining thing she has from her mom you know and the cat was very old and was dying you know um and her dad is in prison i at first thought oh my god this got crazy very fast you know scary very fast and I was like you know maybe did that kill the mom or something like that I don't think so I don't think I think he made several bad decisions maybe he was a drug dealer who knows um but um the thing is that she couldn't connect with his with his dad anymore you know because it was just impossible for her but through the music through her being a little bit more sure sure on herself knowing that she has this background system you know this background like her friendship with everyone else that she knows that she can you know go all in and if she gets hurt she has her friends to help her out you know so that was beautiful you know then then we have Mo Mohini right I don't know how is it pronounced I don't know if that's how you pronounce it and I don't know what it means. I would have loved if they could have said what it actually means. Um, but she is, you know, of Indian background. And his dad has this idea of who his daughter has to be. And it has to come, honestly, with the culture as well. Uh, but she was born in America, you know. So she's, she's not like that she wants to live her life in the way I don't think she hates her culture or anything like that but she wants to make a mark on the world on her own terms you know and that dad had to understand that I wish that the mom could have been a little bit more like hey kind of like you know let her do her thing and things like that but no sadly the mom was just in the background kind of like you know upset at the dad but really not saying anything which I guess also comes from the culture, you know. And honestly, she got to define, I guess, what being an Indian American girl could be, you know. And that's okay, because she's not doing anything bad also, you know. 
So, and she's amazing. She's great. And she has a background in uh, classical music. So music comes easy to her. Let's just say that, you know. And she's amazing. She goes through this and she goes through a bit of a breakup with this boy that ultimately ends up in the band. But I'm, I'm not going to count him as p part of the band. Who cares about him? Raise your hands. See, no one is raising them. We don't care about him. <laughs> uh, but I think that maybe he was just a, a, a guest for the one night. Because Lemonade Mouth is the five of them. You know? I'm just saying. Then you have Charlie. Who is, you know, the drummer. And he is just... That kid... I don't know how is it that the mom was pushing him into be a soccer player. When that kid was, you know, making beats and like just drumming everywhere, you know. And I hate this about parents. You know, those type of parents where they force a dream onto their kids. A dream that is not their kid's dream, you know. And they, they force it on them, you know. They are like, okay, your brother was great at soccer, so you, you must be great at soccer. And you're going to follow your brother brother's footsteps from what we can tell the 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 guy the the soccer player his his brother Tommy I think it, it was his name um he might be good at that but he's not that good at school okay so the scholarship and all of that maybe it's gone but that doesn't mean that he can't play soccer professionally you know I don't think Messi or Ronaldo have like college degrees Please tell me if they do. I don't think they don't. But that's not necessarily a, a, a requirement, you know, to be or to go through college and graduate to actually be a soccer player, right? Yeah, scholarship in school is important. But if, if he's as good as people say he is, you know, he can try it out. And he can honestly be a great asset to uh, a team if he's actually really good and I don't think school has anything to do with that I think <laughs> because like why am I saying this because my brother was really good at soccer and he was called for you know to uh, he got a scholarship on a soccer team here in my country um, and he was terrible at school <laughs> awful like terrible Awful. He was awful, okay? <laughs> Not the smartest, but but that's the thing. He didn't have to be smart at that because he did not like it. He understood things different. He learned in a different way. And soccer was his thing. And I sometimes he regrets that, that he didn't put more effort into that, you know, because he could have been a great soccer player, honestly, because he, he is really good. His passion is soccer. And it will always be that. Though he cannot play right now. Because um, I don't think he, he runs a mile. I think he will have a heart, heart attack. But anyways. Thing is that. You know. He was really good at soccer. And m my mom should have focused on that. And should have given him all the opportunities that he she could have. And let him be. You know. But my mom also wanted him to study something. For him to be. You know, in life. And he, they didn't give him the opportunity to follow his dream. You know. And that goes to my next point. Is the fact that when you don't do that. Right. Then you become the parent who lives their dreams through your children. Which is what my brother is doing with his two kids. Because since he likes soccer. You know, his daughter naturally just you know because she's you know the uh, how is it you say the apple of her his eyes or like whatever it is that you say you know and she loves soccer she understands soccer because my brother has taught her all of that and it comes naturally for her because she loves spending time with her with her dad you know and he says that if she and she really does like kicks the ball and she has you know because my brother has taught her um and he says if she wants to follow that, she will support her, whatever. But now my brother, because that's a bit sexist, and I've been told, been telling him that, because my sis, my, my, my niece, like I've said, she really does like soccer. Really does. You know, and, and maybe my brother should put a little bit more attention into that. They do practice, like I said, when they are, you know, at home and all of that. Um, but now my brother is 
all like my my nephew, the youngest, his name is Cristiano. Why? Because he loves Cristiano Ronaldo. And because of that, his son is named Cristiano. He was not going to be named Cristiano. They had another name. He changed it at the last minute because like, it's Cristiano. It's Cristiano. And then my my niece was, you got used to getting his baby brother being like when he was not born yet being called that. And so they had to change it. And his name is Cristiano, you know, and my brother dreams, dreams and tells us his dreams of his uh, little boy, you know, going into the I don't know what games. I don't know, you know, because he's a fan of the Real Madrid. You know, and everybody screaming, Cristiano Dulanto, and everybody will cheer and everything. You know, and my niece the other day was like, and how are they going to cheer my name? You know, because he focused on the fact that his son is going to be the one who will follow into his footsteps, which is terrible, in my opinion, because my 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 baby uh, nephew, he's seven months, months old. Not going to deny, he does kind of seem to like watching soccer as well with his dad because I'm telling you my brother is all about soccer you know and he seems to like it and he like follows the ball he laughs when his dad does and like you know I don't know maybe he could but maybe he wants to be a singer you know and like the fact is that my brother should not be making or trying to make his dreams come true through his kids you know and I have told him that Time and time and time again, in a joking matter, in a serious matter. But he's like, no, no, no. Like, Cristiano is going to be... Like, every time he passes the national stadium here in my, here in my country, he says that he can hear, you know, them calling my, my nephew's name. And I'm like, well, first of all, if you want to do that, why don't you do it with, with, with uh, your daughter as well? You know? It's a bit sexist, if you ask me. But... Anyways, he lives through his kids. And that is the bad thing. But it is a good thing. It could have been a good thing if you support them through whatever it is that they want. And you have to pay attention also, you know. If they're more into arts, if they're more into math, if they're more into whatever. And you have to support them for that, you know. And that was what was happening with Charlie. um, Because they had... He had to be exactly like his brother, you know, and he wasn't. And if you paid a little bit of attention, you will know that he actually loved music more than he will love uh, soccer. And I, as a mom, will be like, I have a, a son that has, you know, soccer abilities. Great. And now I have another son that is great with music, I will be the first, their first fan, you know, but no, anyways, uh, the mom was kind of forcing him into that, but then later, all of them came around, you know, and then you have, of course, when, (laughs) he is adorable, and, you know, he was going through something as well, uh, which is that his mom left, right, his mom left, and that, had another relationship. I don't think immediately after, but uh, let's just say that Wen was not ready for that relationship yet, you know? And so he was struggling with that. Like I said during the reaction, I don't think Olivia should have told him, oh, you know, wham, wham, baby boy, you know, my problems are bigger than yours, you know, or more important than yours. No, because he was struggling as well, you know? Um, But he kind of saw the light and saw that the... Sydney woman was not actually a bad person. She was actually, you know, kind of wanted to be there for him as well and was actually a good person, you know. So at the end, he came around and um, accepted Sydney as part of their family, you know. And I kind of like that, you know. But it's really not okay to tell, like, you know, you're going through a hard time. You know, whenever you are going through a hard time. And for you, it's a hard thing. Don't let anyone tell you that whatever you are going through is not as important as what they are going through. Because we all have different lives, different walks of lives. Things are different for all of us. 
you know, and not because like for me, I'm struggling with anxiety and depression and this and that. You know, and someone is just struggling because they are studying and they can't understand a subject or something like that. I'm not going to go and tell them, oh, fuck you. You know, that one little tiny problem that you can fix it with studying. That's it. You know, my problems are bigger than yours. No, I don't think anyone's problems are bigger than everyone else because it's how you make how it makes you feel. You know? So whatever it makes you feel, and if you feel bad about it, don't let anyone anyone dis dismiss that. Don't let anyone dismiss that, you know? So, yeah. But at the end of the day, they're a band. I did love the song where uh, Mo was singing, you know, about the fact that they, it, that this group, everything, you know, was more than just a band. You know, it was about them coming together as friends and all of that. And to have a shoulder to cry and all of that. And at the end, whether if they win, lose, whatever, they were doing it because they loved it. And they were doing it because they had fans that actually respond to what they were, you know, saying and talking. And, and you know, that was beautiful. That was beautiful, you know. Um, and I loved it. I loved it. This this movie has so much heart. It was definitely not what I was imagining because I was, when you guys said put started writing lemonade mouth i didn't really look into it until today that i actually had to react to it and i was like oh it's not that the horse one i don't know why i i associated with 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 there's a show with a horse i think that is titled similar to this or maybe i'm wrong and i don't know what the hell i'm saying that i'm thinking about but honest to god I was not thinking, oh, wait, there's a horse or there's a, a kid with braces as well. Maybe I'm fic I'm confusing everything, but but I did not thought, I'd never heard of this movie before today. Well, when you guys p pointed it out and today that I actually look for it, whether if it was in any platform so I could watch it or if I had to download it somewhere else. But no, I actually have it on Disney Plus, so that, that's, that's, a, that's a plus. <laughs> Uh, but I loved the film. It was so good. It was amazing. I think it had heart. It had great music. It, ha it had... And honestly, at the end, uh, it wasn't like a love story. You know, it wasn't like about like Olivia falling in love with Wen and, and Mo falling in love with Charlie. And Estella was going to be the gay one. But anyway, it wasn't going to be about that. It wasn't about that, you know? But I am going to tell you that I do not like that the uh, boyfriend, uh, Mo's boyfriend, got to be there with them. You know, I mean, yes, he helped, kinda. He understood at the end of it, uh, but he is not for me. He is not part of Lemonade Mouth. He is most definitely not part of Lemonade Mouth. For me, the five of them are Lemonade Mouth. The other one is a guest star. That's it. You know, and I really hope that it kind of let it be to like, oh, actually, we have a new person in our, in the group. But the moment it feels weird, we have to fire him immediately <laughs> because it's he's not part of limited mouth. OK, he can be a guest, you know, but fuck off. He wasn't there with us. He didn't fight for that machine. You know, and so no, 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 no. I don't accept it. I won't accept it. Anyways, love the film. Thank you to everyone that decided to, to uh, recommend this film because this film doesn't come to you sponsored by anyone. It's actually uh, Patreon's most liked um, recommendation. The previous month and honestly you guys rocked because i f not for a million years will have thought of reacting to something as beautiful as this one did it remind me of high school musical the musical the series yes it did to the original high school music yes as well julian the phantoms yes as well all of those good shows uh and movies that you know but they made it on their own you know and i loved it I honestly, honestly loved it. 
Uh, but yeah, that's it. One more film added to the pile of films that we have re- Oh my god. He got away. Friends and family at Christmas. What the hell? How is it that I didn't c- clap? Crap that- Anyways, but we're, we're gonna- <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah. Great. Great, 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 great movie. Love Dead. Beginning, middle to end. And- Honestly, I wouldn't mind a reunion. To be honest, I wouldn't mind a, a, a reunion. I think it could be fun, right? It could be fun. It could be fun. It could be epic, you know? All of them a little bit more grown up, right? And the ups and downs of the band. Uh, not with anything involving drugs or anything like that, but, you know, them coming together again or something. I don't know. I think it will be. It could be pretty magical, to be honest. I mean, tell me, don't tell me that you guys wouldn't like that. If you are, like, fans of it for a long time, don't tell me you guys wouldn't like that. Because I just watched it, and I, I actually want it, you know? So, yeah. Anyways, I loved it. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I'm going to make sure uh, that I can... Uh, upload this to YouTube. I don't know how because it has music and music gets copyrighted. So I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but we'll figure it out. Give it a thumbs up if you're watching this on YouTube. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Anka Reaction is always posted first on Patreon. If you are on YouTube, let me know what other films you want me to edit or react for YouTube. Let me know that in the comment section down below. Uh, and if you're on Patreon, let me know your thoughts on this film. Don't worry, soon, if you're on Patreon, soon you will have specific posts so you can you guys can recommend more films because the bucket of films is getting lower and lower. We have very few movies to go through and we're gonna need to fill that up again. So I'm gonna trust you guys' guts and give you guys another well-deserved chance for you guys to uh, choose our next film. So... That's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. You guys are incredible. And for now, that is all with Lemonade Mouth. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos, for more films tomorrow. Rush Hour. Rush Hour 2. Yes. Another fan favorite. You guys, you guys, uh, I think you guys not, didn't sponsor that one either. I think you guys just want me to react to part two because I already did part one, so. That's it. Thank you for watching. You guys are amazing. I'll see you guys next time. That's it. Mwah. Also, I just want to say that lemonades here in my country look a lot different from the, those ones. They look kind of yellowish for you guys. The, my lemonade looks, it's like water with a tiny bit of like a hint of like green. Because our, our, our lemon is very, very... Um, Acid? Is that how you say it? I don't know. You know. Um, so it looks different. I'm so sorry. That, I just wanted to point that out. Our lemonade might not look as yellowish as you guys. It looks a little bit more green. Anyways, that's it. I don't know why I said that. Totally unnecessary fact. But I said it. Anyways. <laughs> that's it. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Lemonade Mouth. Mwah! Bye, guys.